It all started with a song. Daddy saw mom singing on stage that song, and he was captivated. Can you blame him? <laughs> he wanted to know her more, and thanks to some conversations with Uncle Stan, he made sure that he got to see more of Bobby, this cutie wooty from Washington, D.C. Her singing drew you to her. You wanted more of her. Daddy wanted to know this girl more. He was captivated by her confident humility. She loved to sing. And because she loved to sing, and because she was gifted in it, it seemed natural that she could be a gospel singing star. But then she found out that I was coming, and three years later that Julie was coming. Thank you, Mom and Dad. She decided to embrace her new unexpected calling as Mommy. And she mothered us with music. We became her audience, and we were captivated by her love for us. She sang, two eyes that shine so bright, two lips that kiss goodnight, two arms that hold me tight, that little girl of mine. No one will ever know how much your coming has meant to me or everything you're something heaven has sent you're all the world to me you climb upon my knee to me you'll always be that little girl of mine we were also captivated by her love for our dad she loved him so well. And when you love someone, you sing about them, you sing to them, you sing for them. And dad would walk in the door from work and she would stop whatever she was doing. She'd put it down and she'd run over to him and she'd wrap her arms around him. And she'd sing, oh, my man, I love him so, he'll never know. Oh, my life was just despair until he was there. <laughs> it's true. Mom used music to introduce us to Jesus. Even though Julie and I had our own rooms, we often had slumber parties. Mom would sit at our bed, she would scratch our back, and she would sing to us. We called it Sing and Scratch. <laughs> Very clever. Julie, but it had to be on the skin. Yes, we liked it under our shirt. So Julie slit a slit in her sweatshirt, and so Mom could slip her hand in the back. She could stay warm, and she could get her back scratched. And in those sweet bedtime times, she taught us how much Jesus loves us and how we were his precious treasures, his precious jewels. She'd sing, when he cometh, when he cometh to take up his jewels, all his jewels, precious jewels, his loved and his own. Like the stars of the morning, his bright crown adorning, they shall shine in their beauty bright gems for his crown. We also sang in the car. We would take road trips, and headphones were forbidden. They were items under the ban. They would, there was none of this. So on long road trips, we would sing. And mom and dad had this entire portfolio of songs that they knew, and they would sing the hashtag chorus, and they would sing, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And Missy and I thought, we've got to get in on this. They are having way too much fun. We've got to get in on this. So we would take hymnals in the car, and 
we not only learned how to read music, but how to hear harmony. Um, and there were four of us, so mom had soprano, dad took bass, Missy got alto, because she came first, and so I am a tenor. <laughs> and we would sing four-part harmony. I know it sounds really nerdy, but it was really fun. We loved it. Um, we, we, were, we were learning music, we were learning how to hear harmony, we were having a lot of fun, but we were starting to really bury these truths in our hearts. And these songs are still there. And we're very thankful for that. One of the songs that we learned, um, and I love this one because it had really cool harmony, it had a cool alto part, which I didn't get to sing because I was singing tenor, but it was. <laughs> oh, worship the King, all glorious above, and gratefully sing His power and His love, our shield and defender, the ancient of days, pavilioned in splendor and guarded with praise. Yes. We did not go to summer camp. Mom didn't want to be away from us for a week, so we stayed home and we learned hymns. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what a bulwark is? Yes. We do. <laughs> Because when we were learning the song, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, we learned that God is our safe place. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. And we learned, A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Yes. And when we came to church on Sunday, and that song would be on the bulletin, and we wouldn't have to use our hymnals, and we knew all four verses. We'd wink at each other, and Mom would give us a... Mm -hmm. And we were having fun. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fun, um, music wasn't just instructional. It was fun. Um, as Aunt Gay shared, Mom was not great at driving. There are a couple things that she wasn't great at. Driving, um, cooking, and keeping secrets. She was not a vault. <laughs> so when it was time for Christmas, mom would go shopping early to get some things for Christmas, but she could not wait till December 25th. So she turned her inability to keep secrets into fun. And the month of December, we would wake up to the tune of O Come Let Us Adore Him being sung, but it had new words, and it was, Oh, what is in my basket? Oh, what is in my basket? Oh, what is in my basket? It's Christmas joy for you. And it was an early Christmas present that mom couldn't wait to give us. Mm -hmm. And our kids love, mm -hmm. oh, what is in my mm -hmm. basket? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I was pregnant with Harper, I got a box from mom, and it was... December, and it was something cute for the nursery, and it said, oh, what is in my basket? I know what's in yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When we had children, Nanny continued this sweet treat of teaching hymns to our children. She taught them, as I know she taught lots of your children, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Uh, she was teaching our children the truths of who God is, that He is holy, and that allowed our children to begin to hide these truths in their heart. She also made up some songs, a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. And this was, again, to teach our children to live a life. They're smiling because they know what we're about we sing to sing. Like I, want I want a life, life of, of continual, continual praise. praise. Thank you, Lord. I want a life of continual praise. Thank you, Lord. I want a life that pleases Jesus Christ. I want a life of continual praise. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then when she was having a really rough day one time, she was on a walk, and she said, 
you know, the devil's just trying to bring me down, but I'm just going to laugh, laugh, laugh at the devil. And so she literally made up a song. I'm, I'm going to laugh, laugh, laugh at the devil. I'm going to smile, smile, smile all day. I'm I will sing and make music in my heart to the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. How does it go after that? I laugh, laugh, laugh at the devil. I love it. There we go. Oh, do you want to do this one? We can. Okay, she, she also liked hand motions. Remember those little things you did when you were kids? The little hand jive things? Are you sure? I don't know. Here Let's we go. Do it. If you will, C-O-M-E, come to Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, he is the way, the truth, the L-I-F-E, life, he is the best. And you will R-E-A-D, read your Bible, S-I-N-G, sing because he L-O-V-E loves you. He's the K-I-N-G king. <laughs> We talked to mom every single day. I had my time when I would call her. If it was at 8.15, because I had just dropped the girls off, I would call and she'd say, oh, hi, precious, where did I catch you? And even though I called her, she said, where did I catch you? <laughs> and we would talk and um, she'd say, what's our hymn for today? And then we would find a hymn and we'd sing it. And then that would roll around in my mind all day long. When mom turned 50 and started to take art classes and to paint, she found her favorite subject matter, birds. Mm -hmm. And it dawned on her why she loved these creatures so much. She said, birds don't worry, they, they sing. sing. Mm -hmm. That was her secret. She taught us to do the same thing, to smile, to sing for God's glory, to forget about ourself, mm -hmm. and to bless those around us. In 2012, God gave mom a new song to sing. Psalm 40 verse 3 says, He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in God. The new song, the mission, was to continue to live a life of continual praise with cancer. Mom allowed God to use this as a gift by blessing others. In a way like never before, Mom shined Jesus. Taking a cue from those cute little birds, she trusted her Savior and sang praise with joy and a contagious love for Jesus. That love drew people in. People wanted to know her Jesus. They were captivated by this new song. And she boldly walked into other people's lives and entered their world. She would be in the clinic and would see other patients and she'd walk over and say, tell me your story. It was amazing to watch. It was amazing to watch the dross be consumed and the gold to be refined. And as she chose joy every day, she chose to be more and more like Jesus and to sing this beautiful song. The gospel, the truth of the gospel was her strength. She said, I'm okay, I already died. The life I'm living is the life in Christ. I'm not afraid of death. Her hope was in the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. And when we would sing how firm a foundation, this, this was our favorite verse to sing together. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow. For I will be with thee, thy troubles to bless, 
and sanctified to thee thy deepest distress. Philippians 2, 12 and 13 says, Do everything without complaining or arguing, so that you may be pure and blameless and shine like stars. Remember how Julie and I messed up her dream of being a gospel singing star? Well, when the Lord gave Mom this new song to sing, she became the most incredible gospel singing star. She sang the gospel everywhere she went, in her home, in her neighborhood, in the clinic, at the pharmacy, in our Bible study. She sang the gospel wherever she went without complaining. She ministered with a smile. She sang for God's glory. She forgot about herself, and she blessed others. And so now God has given all of us a new song. This is a song I didn't want to sing. And yet mom said, if I've attached you to me, I've done a really bad job. I want you to be attached to Jesus. I want his word to be your food. And she said it to every single one of you. And so our encouragement to each other as sisters, our encouragement to you is to take this new song that God's given us all to sing, to forget about ourselves, to sing for God's glory with a smile, and to bless others. We love you. Thank you. We love you.